Today is day 142 of reading the Bible, the Word of God. This powerful, life-changing set of books including history, law, poetry, prophecy, the good news of Jesus, and more. In about 15 minutes per day, we can read the entire Bible in a year and see and hear God's will for our lives. Let's read. Ezra chapter 4. Now when the adversaries of Judah and Benjamin heard that the children of the captivity were building a temple to the Lord, the God of Israel, they came near to Zerubbabel and to the heads of fathers' households and said to them, Let us build with you, for we seek your God as you do, and we have been sacrificing to him since the days of Esarhaddon, king of Assyria, who brought us up here. But Zerubbabel, Jeshua, and the rest of the heads of fathers' households of Israel said to them, You have nothing to do with us in building a house to our God, but we ourselves together will build it to the Lord, the God of Israel, as King Cyrus, the king of Persia, has commanded us. Then the people of the land weakened the hands of the people of Judah and troubled them in building. They hired counselors against them to frustrate their purpose all the days of Cyrus, king of Persia, even until the reign of Darius, king of Persia, In the reign of Ahasuerus, in the beginning of his reign, they wrote an accusation against the inhabitants of Judah and Jerusalem. In the days of Artaxerxes, Bishlam, Mithridath, Tabil, and the rest of his companions wrote to Artaxerxes, king of Persia, and the writing of the letter was written in Syrian and delivered in the Syrian language. Rehim the chancellor and Shimshai the scribe wrote a letter against Jerusalem to Artaxerxes, the king, as follows. Then Rehum the chancellor, Shimshai the scribe, and the rest of their companions, the Dineites, and the Aphrasathkites, the Tarpalites, the Aphrasites, the Archivites, the Babylonians, the Shushinkites, the Dehites, the Elamites, and the rest of the nations whom the great and noble Osnapper brought over and settled in the city of Samaria, and in the rest of the country beyond the river, and so forth, wrote. This is the copy of the letter that they sent. To King Artaxerxes, from your servants, the people beyond the river. Be it known to the king that the Jews who came up from you have come to us to Jerusalem. They are building the rebellious and bad city, and have finished the walls and repaired the foundations. Be it known now to the king that if this city is built and the walls finished, they will not pay tribute, custom, or toll, and in the end it will be hurtful to the king's. Now because we eat the salt of the palace, and it is not appropriate for us to see the king's dishonor, therefore we have sent and informed the king, that search may be made in the book of the records of your fathers. You will see in the book of the records, and know that this city is a rebellious city, and hurtful to kings and provinces, and that they have started rebellions within it in the past. That is why this city was destroyed. We inform the king that if this city is built and the walls finished, then you will have no possession beyond the river. Then the king sent an answer to Rehum the chancellor, and to Shimshai the scribe, and to the rest of their companions who live in Samaria, and in the rest of the country beyond the river. Peace. The letter which you sent to us has been plainly read before me. I decreed, and search has been made, and it was found that this city has made insurrection against kings in the past, and that rebellion and revolts have been made in it. There have also been mighty kings over Jerusalem who have ruled over all the country beyond the river, and tribute, custom, and toll was paid to them. Make a decree now to cause these men to cease, and that this city not be built until a decree is made by me. Be careful that you not be slack doing so. Why should damage grow to the hurt of the kings? Then when the copy of King Artaxerxes' letter was read before Rahim, Shamshai the scribe, and their companions, they went in haste to Jerusalem to the Jews and made them to cease by force of arms. Then work stopped on God's house, which was at Jerusalem. It stopped until the second year of the reign of Darius, king of Persia. Chapter 5 Now the prophets, Haggai the prophet and Zechariah the son of Edo, prophesied to the Jews who were in Judah and Jerusalem. They prophesied to them in the name of the God of Israel. Then Zerubbabel the son of Shealtiel and Jeshua the son of Jozadak rose up and began to build God's house which is at Jerusalem, and with them were the prophets of God, helping them. At the same time, Tetanai, the governor beyond the river, came to them with Shether Bozani and their companions, and asked them, Who gave you a decree to build this house and to finish this wall? 
They also asked for the names of the men who were making this building. But the eye of their God was on the elders of the Jews, and they didn't make them cease until the matter should come to Darius, and an answer should be returned by letter concerning it. The copy of the letter that Tethanai, the governor beyond the river, and Shethar Bozani and his companions, the Aphrosachites, who were beyond the river, sent to Darius the king, follows. They sent a letter to him, in which was written, To Darius the king, all peace. Be it known to the king that we went into the province of Judah, to the house of the great God, which is being built with great stones and timber is laid in the walls. This work goes on with diligence and prospers in their hands. Then we asked those elders and said to them thus, Who gave you a decree to build this house and to finish this wall? We asked them their names also, to inform you that we might write the names of the men who were at their head. Thus they returned us answer, saying, We are the servants of the God of heaven and earth, and are building the house that was built these many years ago, which a great king of Israel built and finished. But after our fathers had provoked the God of heaven to wrath, he gave them into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon, the Chaldean, who destroyed this house and carried the people away into Babylon. But in the first year of Cyrus king of Babylon, Cyrus the king made a decree to build this house of God. The gold and silver vessels of God's house, which Nebuchadnezzar took out of the temple that was in Jerusalem and brought into the temple of Babylon, those Cyrus the king also took out of the temple of Babylon, and they were delivered to one whose name was Sheshbazar, whom he had made governor. He said to him, Take these vessels, go, put them in the temple that is in Jerusalem, and let God's house be built in its place. Then the same Sheshbazar came and laid the foundations of God's house which is in Jerusalem. Since that time, even until now, it has been being built, and yet it is not completed. Now, therefore, if it seems good to the king, let a search be made in the king's treasure house, which is there at Babylon, whether it is so that a decree was made by Cyrus the king to build this house of God at Jerusalem, and let the king send his pleasure to us concerning this matter. Chapter 6 Then Darius the king made a decree, and the house of the archives, where the treasures were laid up in Babylon, was searched. A scroll was found at Akmetha, in the palace that is in the province of Medea, and in it this was written for a record. In the first year of Cyrus the king, Cyrus the king made a decree, concerning God's house at Jerusalem, let the house be built, the place where they offer sacrifices, and let its foundations be strongly laid, with its height sixty cubits, and its width sixty cubits, with three courses of great stones and a course of new timber. Let the expenses be given out of the king's house. Also, let the gold and silver vessels of God's house, which Nebuchadnezzar took out of the temple which is at Jerusalem and brought to Babylon, be restored and brought again to the temple which is at Jerusalem, everything to its place. You shall put them in God's house. Now therefore, Tetanai, governor beyond the river, Shethar Bozani, and your companions, the Aphrosachites, who are beyond the river, you must stay far from there. Leave the work of this house of God alone. Let the governor of the Jews and the elders of the Jews build this house of God in its place. Moreover, I make a decree regarding what you shall do for these elders of the Jews for the building of this house of God, that of the king's goods, even of the tribute beyond the river, expenses must be given with all diligence to these men, that they not be hindered. That which they have need of, including young bulls, rams, and lambs, for burnt offerings to the God of heaven, also wheat, salt, wine, and oil, according to the word of the priests who are at Jerusalem, let it be given them day by day without fail, that they may offer sacrifices of pleasant aroma to the God of heaven, and pray for the life of the king and of his sons. I have also made a decree that whoever alters this message, let a beam be pulled out from his house, and let him be lifted up and fastened on it, and let his house be made a dunghill for this. May the God who has caused his name to dwell there overthrow all kings and peoples who stretch out their hand to alter this, to destroy this house of God, which is at Jerusalem. I, Darius, have made a decree. Let it be done with all diligence. Then Tatanei, the governor beyond the river, Shethar Bozani, and their companions did accordingly with all diligence, because Darius the king had sent a decree. 
the elders of the Jews built and prospered through the prophesying of Haggai the prophet and Zechariah the son of Edo. They built and finished it according to the commandment of the God of Israel and according to the degree of Cyrus, Darius, and Artaxerxes, king of Persia. This house was finished on the third day of the month Adar, which is in the sixth year of the reign of Darius the king. The children of Israel, the priests, the Levites, and the rest of the children of the captivity kept the dedication of this house of God with joy. They offered at the dedication of this house of God one hundred bulls, two hundred rams, four hundred lambs, and for a sin offering for all Israel twelve male goats, according to the number of the tribes of Israel. They set the priests in their divisions and the Levites in their courses for the service of God which is at Jerusalem, as it is written in the book of Moses. The children of the captivity kept the Passover on the fourteenth day of the first month, because the priests and the Levites had purified themselves together. All of them were pure. They killed the Passover for all the children of the captivity, for their brothers the priests, and for themselves. The children of Israel who had returned out of the captivity, and all who had separated themselves to them from the filthiness of the nations of the land who seek the Lord, the God of Israel, ate, and kept the feast of unleavened bread seven days with joy, because the Lord had made them joyful, and had turned the heart of the king of Assyria to them, to strengthen their hands in the work of God, the God of Israel's house. Chapter 7 Now after these things, in the reign of Artaxerxes king of Persia, Ezra the son of Seraiah, the son of Azariah, the son of Hilkiah, the son of Shalom, the son of Zadok, the son of Ahitub, the son of Amariah, the son of Azariah, the son of Moriah, the son of Zerahiah, the son of Azai, the son of Buckai, the son of Abishua, the son of Phinehas, the son of Eleazar, the son of Aaron, the chief priest. This Ezra went up from Babylon. He was a skilled scribe in the law of Moses, which the Lord, the God of Israel, had given, and the king granted him all his request, according to the Lord his God's hand on him. Some of the children of Israel, including some of the priests, the Levites, the singers, the gatekeepers, and the temple servants went up to Jerusalem in the seventh year of Artaxerxes the king. He came to Jerusalem in the fifth month, which was in the seventh year of the king. For on the first day of the first month he began to go up from Babylon, and on the first day of the fifth month he came to Jerusalem, according to the good hand of his God on him. For Ezra had set his heart to seek the Lord's law, and to do it, and to teach statutes and ordinances in Israel. Now this is the copy of the letter that King Artaxerxes gave to Ezra the priest, the scribe, even the scribe of the words of the Lord's commandments, and of his statutes to Israel. Artaxerxes, king of kings, to Ezra the priest, the scribe of the law of the perfect God of heaven. Now I make a decree that all those of the people of Israel, and their priests, and the Levites in my realm, who intend of their own free will to go to Jerusalem, go with you. Because you are sent by the king and his seven counselors to inquire concerning Judah and Jerusalem, according to the law of your God, which is in your hand, and to carry the silver and gold, which the king and his counselors have freely offered to the God of Israel, whose habitation is in Jerusalem. And all the silver and gold that you will find in all the province of Babylon, with the free will offering of the people and of the priests, offering willingly for the house of their God, which is in Jerusalem. Therefore, you shall with all diligence buy with this money bulls, rams, and lambs with their meal offerings and their drink offerings, and shall offer them on the altar of the house of your God, which is in Jerusalem. Whatever seems good to you and to your brothers to do with the rest of the silver and the gold, do that according to the will of your God. The vessels that are given to you for the service of the house of your God, deliver before the God of Jerusalem. Whatever more will be needed for the house of your God, which you may have occasion to give, give it out of the king's treasure house. I, even I, Artaxerxes the king, make a decree to all the treasurers who are beyond the river, that whatever Ezra the priest, the scribe of the law of the God of heaven, requires of you, it shall be done with all diligence, up to one hundred talents of silver, and to one hundred cores of wheat, and to one hundred baths of wine, and to one hundred baths of oil, and salt, without prescribing how much. Whatever is commanded by the God of heaven, let it be done exactly for the house of the God of heaven. 
for why should there be wrath against the realm of the king and his sons? Also, we inform you that it shall not be lawful to impose tribute, custom, or toll on any of the priests, Levites, singers, gatekeepers, temple servants, or laborers of this house of God. You, Ezra, according to the wisdom of your God that is in your hand, appoint magistrates and judges who may judge all the people who are beyond the river, who all know the laws of your God, and teach him who doesn't know them. Whoever will not do the law of your God and the law of the king, let judgment be executed on him with all diligence, whether it is to death or to banishment or to confiscation of goods or to imprisonment. Blessed be the Lord, the God of our fathers, who has put such a thing as this in the king's heart to beautify the Lord's house which is in Jerusalem and has extended loving kindness to me before the king and his counselors and before all the king's mighty princes. I was strengthened according to the Lord my God's hand on me, and I gathered together chief men out of Israel to go up with me.